<laughs> Looks like we're locked in. And round two is underway. Again, I'd look to see Nick to get off early and push him into the fence with his punches. Good right hand, good left hand. Nick yeah. flurrying him into the fence. These guys are really throwing down here. Not showing much of a defense, Victor Wang. He is throwing punches, which is a good sign, but uh, got hit with a few clean shots there. Good single leg, but he, now he's right back into the triangle because he didn't get himself out. If Nick doesn't defend this, he's in serious trouble here. We'll see if Victor's going to be able to finish this submission or not. What Victor needs to do is he needs to pinch his knees together, pull down on his head, and continue squeezing. This could be the end of the fight. Nick's in a very bad position here. Um, what's happening is that arm is forming a triangle against his serrated arteries on his throat, which is cutting off the blood, which is pumping oxygen to his brain. Looks like he's got a bit of room to fight it here, but he's in trouble. If Victor continues squeezing those knees together, pulling down on his head, and it looks like his head's just about out, and he's out. Good effort. That was a long, drawn-out process, but we're looking to try and get it back into a similar hole, but no. Nick Mello takes the advantage. Forearms, elbows, and fists down on Victor One's head. And in return, four elbows from Nick the Taiwanese. The posture. Nick needs to posture. He's playing a, dead, a deadly game of Russian roulette, so to speak, here. Anytime you're just laying down, We've got armbar, we've got triangle, we've got omoplata. Brother, sister, and cousin in the submission game, as I like to say. Finally pulled his arms out. Now he's past the guard. He's inside control, raining down those forearm strikes, which, believe it or not, don't feel very good. <laughs> really? Yeah, with the, with the uh, sharp end of the elbow, it's, that's an easy way to open up cuts on the face as well. You can see there that there's a kind of a, a, mutual, a mutual agreement just to ease up a little bit, catch a breather possibly. Wouldn't surprise me if John Shah steps in and gets them to be a little bit busier down there, but it's such a draining, draining few minutes when you're tussling with your opponent's body weight. Constant grapple. Now I'd like to see Nick try to advance the position. I mean, he's obviously got good control. He's got the outside underhook. What I'd like to see him do is try to bring that right knee up and go knee to belly or go to mount. If he's able to do that, he's going to have a lot more options available to him as far as finishing the fight. Elbows to the side of the body there from Nick Meller as well. British fighter. Underhook here by Victor. That left arm, when it crawled through to the armpit, that's his escape route. What that is, is that's opening up the door. He needs to turn on to his right hip, continue using that underhook. He can't stay flat on his back. If he stays flat on his back, Nick's going to be able to pummel back in for that underhook like he just did. Well, one's taken so much punishment from Mella's uh, elbows and forearms. Constantly with his eyes closed, just expecting the blow to land. Doesn't really put him in a great position to mount an attack of his own. Down they come. Quite surprised that no cuts have opened up just yet. Bumps and bruises, you can imagine, though. Good forearm strikes here from Nick, oh. good posture. Victor's doing a good job of maintaining, maintaining posture of Nick with that left arm around his head. When he keeps that left arm around his head, that's preventing from Nick raising his chest up and really creating a lot of space. With space, obviously that's going to equal a lot more power behind those strikes. Wang lifts his head off the canvas, which provides a double blow. So he gets punched in the front of the face, and then the back of his head hits the canvas. Nick looking to flurry here from the mount. Uh, this is a dangerous oh, getting position. Through. It looks like this might be... Percival checking on him closely. Steve Sh John Sharp, sorry about that, asking him if the fighter's intelligently defending himself. He'll need to throw punches unless... Otherwise, the referee's going to stop this one. Victor not doing a very good job of controlling the posture. He's just letting Victor raise his head up and drop those punches, those elbows from three, four feet above. Really showing that ground skills that's well, written all over his I shorts. I don't think there's much left in this fight. Surely the referee will step in soon. He's not throwing anything back. He's doing all he can to avoid the punches, but you've got to throw punches back. And sure enough, John Shah's seen enough. Good referee stoppage by <laughs> John Shah. And look how tired Nick Miller is, but he's done it. He's got his revenge. 
from having lost here the last time he came to Resorts World Sentosa. He's a very tired man, but a very delighted man, I'm sure. Second round knockout, Nick Meller over Victor Wang. Great to see you back in the positive form.